the Chamber of Commerce, the first woman to serve was Jane B. Parker. Now you might know Wiley Parker, who was on city council and an attorney, that's her son. So Jane, back in 1972, was the first woman to serve on the board of the Chamber of Commerce. And at the Lebanon Valley Economic Development Corporation, it was Wendy DiMatteo Holsinger. Now Wendy has, family has the ASK Foods, and they also have the Today's Chef. She's on the Lebanon Valley Farmers Bank Board. She's co-chairwoman of Team Pennsylvania with Governor Ed Rendell. And she also, um, I think, serves on the board of Lebanon Valley College, if I'm not wrong. At least she did at one time. And at Lebanon Valley College, this lady was a who too. I just thought, wow, she's really great. Her name is Dr. Elizabeth Kreiser Weisberger. And she broke the mold back in 1969 when she was elected to the board by the alumni where she served for 19 years. The last years from 1985 to 1989 as the board chairwoman of Lebanon Valley College. After graduating from Lebanon Valley College in 1940, Dr. Weisberger went to the University of Cincinnati to earn a PhD in organic chemistry. Her father was a chemist too, by the way, so I'm sure she had a good mentor there. Then beginning in 1951, she worked at the National Cancer Institute for 40 years, retiring as the highest grade scientist for the U.S. Public Health Service, which she said is like a captain in the Navy. And so if you read her whole story, it's very interesting. She developed standards that they use today for uh, the probability of cancer and that sort of thing. Uh, she had some kind of fire retardants and things and chemicals that were used, but those I think are no longer used. But just really a, an interesting lady, and she was so articulate on the phone. Now this lady probably looks familiar to a lot of you. Mary Louise Sherp, what a spirit. Oh my goodness. She has, uh, was the first lady to receive the Founders Day Award from Lebanon Valley College. And so in 1968, the county commissioners uh, received a visit from Mary and some of her friends, and they said they wanted to start a Head Start program in Lebanon County. And the commissioners at the time said, well, we don't have any poverty in Lebanon County. We don't need a Head Start program. Well, of course, the ladies were really riling, and they left there and said, we know better. So they started the Head Start program, and eventually there was a boost program as well. And eventually those two programs combined and became K-4. But Mary Louise would uh, teach uh, English as a second language. She would, uh, just everything. She had her hands in everything. She was a volunteer for a very long time. But when her husband passed away, uh, they became more formalized. And somehow she then at that point was hired and became their full-time personnel. But just, just a phenomenal lady. And she's been on boards for the Housing and Development Authority. She's chaired them. She's with the League of Women Voters. She's been everywhere. The Center of Lebanon Association is another business organization, and the first woman to serve as the president there was Jody Kasperowitz. She uh, still helps, as I understand, organize the holiday parades and the New Year's Eve Malone Tross, even though she's no longer the CLA president. And she also sold her business and made room for the farmer's market and is now in real estate. So, Women Breaking the Glass Ceiling, Joan Parker, excuse me, Jane Parker, Wendy DiMatteo Holsinger, Jane, Jody Kasperwitz, Dr. Elizabeth Kreiser Weisberger, and Mary Louise Scherr are women that we today owe a date, great debt of gratitude for leading the way for women to hold positions of influence in Lebanon County. So in closing, as women further their education, hone their leadership skills, and make decisions on how their income is spent, just as women comprise about 50% of the voting public, qualified women will no doubt hold 50% of elected offices and continue to lead boards, businesses, and impact edu education. Admittedly, there's a lot of other women firsts that I wasn't able to cover, auditors, tax collectors, and such. But researching these offices was beyond the scope of these articles. <laughs> the articles are online at joellenlitz.com and you can click on women in politics or just put that all on the same line. So remember, as we are today, record women's history whenever you can and share it because if we don't do it, no one will. Thank you for your time and your attention today.